the more you refuse to hear my voice. Away, 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 away. The louder I will sing. You hide behind walls of Jericho. Away, 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 away. The lies will come tumbling. Deny my place in time, you squander wealth that's mine. My light will shine so brightly it will blind you because there's something inside so strong. Gospel music is a message. It's, uh, uh, it's talking about Jesus, the love of Jesus, the love of God. It's a message of hope. A message of peace, a message of love. There are many things you can just approach somebody and tell them about it. But through songs, you communicate with them. Through songs, you talk the heart of people. Through songs, you tell people, hey, tomorrow might, today might be bad, tomorrow is going to be better. But it's about um, the feeling that the words evoke in the people and about drawing them into the service and getting them to think about things. And when you go away from it, then you kind of, you should, well, I feel that you should be uplifted by it that it should be something that gives you hope. That's what I feel gospel music is. Oh, it's very simple. I love the life it gives. I love the fact that people smile. I love the fact that people sing, that people get up and move, because we're so stagnant in church normally. We sit in pews in orderly fashion and we don't move. So it's great. I feel gospel music is something that uh, is seen to come from the heart. Not only does it come from the heart, but the, the whole person is engaged. And when we look at the Afro-American culture, you know, very clearly, the, uh, uh, and, and the African culture, actually, before that, um, uh, they, they, uh, they have that thing where whole, the whole body seems to be affected. We, we of the European tradition, uh, are, are landlocked uh, below the head. And so they're, they're giving us back something that we, we have lost years ago. And um, so I think gospel is, for all Christians, that genre which has got a little bit of rock and roll, and there's nothing wrong with that. The more you refuse to hear my voice, away, 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 away. the louder I will see. You hide behind the walls of Jericho. Away, 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 away. Our lives will come tumbling. Deny my place. will shine so brightly it will blind you our first day yeah it was it was we spent six weeks learning hallelujah six weeks and it was still awful <laughs> it never got good and then we learned i think down the river to pray and that was a little bit better and then we had something inside so strong was our big piece and then i remember our very first um I'm not sure, I had, it, I had the order somewhere and I don't know where it is now, but one of the first thing, masses we had, oh yeah, we had a workshop because we didn't know how to stand. We really couldn't stand, we're Irish, you know. So we needed someone to kind of loosen us up. So even getting us from a sitting position to a standing position was really, really hard. So we did a workshop and um, that kind of helped us a little. And then our first mass, we stood on the altar singing, which again is very not Irish. But we wanted to communicate with the um, congregation and set ourselves up as a different style choir. So that nearly killed everyone because, you know, you're facing down. <laughs> that was awful. <laughs> anyway, we got through that. Um, and we were generally quite popular in the, in the church we were in. But unfortunately, I think um, the congregation there it was the only congregation, really, that there were some people who really loved us, of course, but we really jarred with what was there before. And I'm not a rebel by nature either. I really don't like to... Because if there's no need to have trouble, why have trouble? Non-audition basically means you can walk in off the street without ever having someone out and sing in our choir. And that is really dangerous and probably not a good idea. Um, but I think a lot of people would never have joined if there had been an audition. So that's why we're, that's a non-audition choir. Um, the reason we ended up that way is because I hadn't a clue what I was doing. So, <laughs> and we um, were lucky to get any members, so we couldn't, beggars couldn't be choosers, but we did get the best anyway. Um, 
but I think it, it is kind of a, we're kind of proud of the fact that we're non-audition and that we um, can try and take anyone in and, and hopefully um, they'll kind of develop within the choir. One of the things you, you notice about the choir is the uh, tremendous enthusiasm that, 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 that they have. Uh, there's some tremendous performers there, almost very professional, uh, but they radiate the joy of the gospel and that's, uh, that's a nice innovation. We, we have a, a great hymn singing tradition in, in the Church of Ireland, Anglican faith, um, and so we really do appreciate uh, good singing and good hymnology. But one of the things that this choir um, strikes one as having is a, a joy and a spontaneity in, the, in their singing. And the nice thing is that they're, they're uh, facilitating all the traditions across the, the, the town, Catholic, Anglican, uh, Evangelical, Everybody enjoys their singing, and Fiona is a very versatile uh, person. There's a great sense of belonging, and there's a great sense of community. And one really good thing, one really brilliant thing about the choir is that we've young people, thir 12, 13, we've older people who are up in their 60s, 70s, and when you walk into a practice, when you walk into a performance, no one thinks of anyone else's age, no one thinks of anyone as being uh, of being of a lesser ability to anyone else or anything. It's just everyone becomes, everyone becomes one and status in society and status everywhere else is just left at the door and that's something that I absolutely love about it. I suppose for me it's the community, you know, that sense of everybody is equal in the choir when we all have to work together to make it work. And I suppose a lot of people that have joined the choir, we all have joined it for different reasons and we're there to help each other through the different moments in our lives and through the music and the singing and the community feeling in the choir, it has helped a lot of us to be where we are today. The people in it will be my favourite. Um, everyone, you know, they're all different ages, all different backgrounds, different family commitments. They all have everything to offer to the choir and when it's put together, it's just a great atmosphere to be in. Being a part of that atmosphere is just, you know, it's, it's great to be with people that have the same interests as you and different interests. And to combine with that is just great. I like how everybody is just so original and everyone's so different in the choir. I really enjoy when we meet up for practices that we all have great crack and we manage to ha make really good music and you know bring great music to mass and enjoy it ourselves at the same time. the October show is really frightening because we have to do it again and I don't know if we've enough done <laughs> I don't know if we can do it again I know we can do it again but um, now there's an expectation because when we did it the first time you know the professionals out there and anyone would have thought and I would have thought seeing our choir yeah a bit dicey that's you know ah, they're nice nice people but really a show a whole show so you know some of those now have heard that this went very well so they're going to be there I actually I'm very nervous about the October show, but I expect that it will be fantastic. Um, but I just wish that on the night someone else could be conducting and I could be at the sides watching and then I could enjoy it. But um, I actually did enjoy it, but yeah, I'm slightly dreading it. So it better be good. Outside of just what you see when we're on stage and when we're singing the Mass, there is hours and hours of work that go into it in the background before, like before Mass starts at all, before gig starts at all, and then in the weeks leading up to stuff as well, just to get it all really working so that nobody in the congregation or the audience knows that things are going horribly, horribly wrong or, or that things would, could go wrong, that it's all ready to go.
happy day. Oh, happy day. Oh, happy day. Oh, happy day. When Jesus was. When Jesus was. When Jesus was. When Jesus was.